I think it's important that I do this successfully. I'm just going to do it because I love it. Hi. Today I'm going to come clean. I have a problem and I'm going to show you what it is. I just want you to know that I love toys and they're very important to me and they make me happy and this is why I do it. But also I'm going to make sure that I take hold of this issue and fix it or make it more of a process and make things run more smoothly. I'm going to show you my toy collection and I'm a hoarder, it seems. I think I am, but I'm working on this and I am going to fix it. Okay, so we're going to start with Toy Mountain. This would be consisting of the larger play sets probably and I have some other little ones just scattered on top. The littler ones are things that I want to review probably sooner than later. There's a lot of Imaginex in here. There's a lot of castles. There are bigger things in the middle that we can't see. I do have to get to those. That is just the beginning. Normally under here are boxes and boxes of toys and then there's bins and they're piled up and up and up and up and up and up and they're everywhere and there's no room to move around in here but I'm sorting through it. I'm gonna take you and show you the rest of that. This is just the tip of the iceberg so to speak. Next, okay. These are the toys that for the most part I have reviewed, I've made videos I think for all of these. I might not have edited them and put them up. These are just some rescue heroes. I want to get to them sooner than later, but they've been there for a few months. And then these John Deere toys, I love them. I haven't put those up yet. Gravity Falls ones, I just got very excited about those. More dragons, I have the whole series. I do need to get to those. And yeah, all of these are also toys. They're Masters of the Universe figures. I have never opened any of them. Hopefully I will at some point. Okay, here is where I make the videos, usually sitting on my bed. It's Halloween right now, and that's my Halloween display. I only got a few days left to make my Halloween videos. I've been pushing those out much better than I've been pushing out any other videos. This is my blind bag, my giant blind bag, which I haven't really started doing. It's filled with little blind bag toys that I've collected and not done. Here are some Halloween props. This is the very first toy review I did. I've not done these. These are like probably the first toys I bought besides Masters of the Universe, which I've always collected. That was the beginning. Oh, here's some other toys. This is for Halloween. This I want to get to right away. In here, there's Aladdin and Strawberry Shortcake. I have done those. Those videos are up. Some of these bins have toys in them. That is where those ones will go. I do have a place for them in here. Up here is more Masters of the Universe. All of that stuff is boxed. This is Castle Grayskull. So there's a lot of bins in here. There's bins on this side. Um, only like two of those bins are toys and Castle Grayskull. But these are also toys. Here in this other closet, these are all of my Masters of the Universe figures, the new classics line. There's um, a Cassette Grey Skull from the 2000 series. There's some toys in there. They're models or something. I was never sure if I wanted to take them out of their packages. If I do, I can at least make more space, so I think I will. <laughs> also down here in the bottom of my closet, a couple of these are toys. I know that have been as Legos. And there are some original Masters of the Universe figures in there. So this is my closet, really. I don't know why I have that many shirts. Now remember when I showed you that mountain in my bedroom? These boxes are usually what goes underneath there and stacked around. Now, there's a lot of toys here. Let me, okay, let me show you. Here is the Mickey Mouse Club and Mini Toys. Here is a huge box of Walt Disney dolls. And here we have some corpse and some classic like action figure, some vintage ones there that I have to do. Here are my Half Shell Heroes. I love Half Shell Heroes. I can't wait to get to them. This is my City Imaginext. These are my Pirate Imaginext. Monsters University toys, and this is Space Imaginext, 
And this is the DC Imaginext. X. This big box is all of um, the Imaginex dinosaurs throughout the years. There's like a few years of dinosaurs there. This is the castle Imaginex. There's like a lot in there. These are the toys that I actually have gotten for like gifts for YouTubers and stuff. Okay, here is Monster High. I wanted, I wanted to get around to these for Halloween. I'm not sure if I will. Here are some more. Here are more smaller dolls. This is a box of smaller dolls and stuff. And here are some kind of more vintage Fisher Price toys. This bin right here is toys that I've actually have reviewed. So these two bins are some Imaginex things that I have or I had opened before I started doing reviews. Here's a bin of um, miscellaneous toys. This is basically a bin of mashers but I also have some superheroes and wrestlers in here, so action figures. Here is my Toy Story bin. I should do this for the anniversary. Here is some, just some more miscellaneous toys. Here are some Fisher-Price toys. I've had these forever, and I think they're so cute. I have the whole series for Julius Jr., and I don't know why I haven't gotten around to that. Next, we'll come up here. This one I really want to do soon. These are really cool. These are really old, but they're awesome. Imagine X figures. And look at this one. That is Skeletor. Skeletor. This is Imagine X. It's a little secret. All right. Here are a box of stuffies and preschool toys. I love Playmobil 123, so basically this is a box of Playmobil 123 really cute toys. But, and then I got some science toys on top. Here are cars, mostly. Cars that I want to do. And then on top are just some minifigures that are really cool as well. And here are some action figures that I need to get around to reviewing. And here are the Ever After High. Okay, most of these have been reviewed and unedited, I would say, out of these selection of boxes. Scooby-Doo is up recently. I have done some. Some of these are up. Of the Octonauts. Oh, my Octonaut box right here. I have every Octonaut figure. They're so cute. I love them. See this? There's another version of that with the green suit on and Quasi driving it. I need to get that too. I know, like I need another one, but yeah, I don't know if it's OCD guys or what it is. Really want to do those as well. More of these. I have done some blind bags, some blind box openings. I haven't edited the videos. Some Imagine X, some Imagine X, some Imagine X. I really like Imagine X. There's some open dolls that I have not edited the videos to. Here's some more Monster High there. This is one of my new favorite sets, Miles from Tomorrowland. I did manage to get most of these up, but I do have some videos still to edit. There's some more Monster High. Some, some blocks. And these are the cards, just some cards from the toys themselves. And here's some Masters of the Universe and some dinosaur heroes from Hasbro. Those reviews are up. Okay, I know it's a problem. It looks really organized right now. I mean, you might think it still looks crazy. To me, this looks way better than it did considering it was in my room everywhere. I just am happy that, I don't know, let me know. Do you think I'm crazy? Do you think if this makes me happy, it's okay? I'm working really hard at doing more videos. Toys really make me happy. I think it's important that I do this successfully. I'm just going to do it because I love it. I have to figure out how to stop buying without finishing what I'm doing. It's just most of these are usually like if there's something on sale, I grab it up. 
like if it's a great sale, then I have to buy it because it's like all of these things, I usually don't buy anything that's not on sale. Maybe some of the Imagine X stuff when it's new and fresh and I'm just like so excited to get it because that probably is my favorite toy line. But the other things are usually a really good deal. Sometimes you have to spend more money on to complete a set though, like if you find everything, but... Yeah, so mostly they're good deals that I can't pass up. I go to the toy store so often I don't buy anything, but I take advantage of sales more often than I do my reviews. Anyway, this is important to me. I'm going to work harder at this. Let me know. Let me know in the comments if you think this is an issue. I know that once you open these, that you can free up a whole lot more space. Like, I usually only buy the ones that I really, really like. Toys that speak to me in some way. If I do open up something and I discover that I don't really like it, I will give that away. And there are a few things that I know that I can. I'll give them to children, maybe, but I'll also give them to other YouTube toy reviewers because, like, as much as I like shopping for toys, I love watching the toy reviews. I want to thank all of the YouTubers out there who actually made it okay for me to do this because I always wanted to. I always wanted to have these things, and I used to just look at them and pass by. Now I see something I like, and I get it. And it's okay. It's okay that I like toys. My thing mostly is adorable. If it's really cute, I gotta have it. I just want a collection of adorable things. It makes me smile. I live my life as if it's the last day. It brings me joy and life is short and I just want to be happy. I really appreciate your comments and your suggestions and please let me know what you think below. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.